Hey everybody, it's your girl Deshaun. Thank you so much for joining us on this Google Hangout. I thank you all for taking the time to check out my Facebook page, my Twitter page, and all of your support. So glad you're with me tonight. Well, guess what? We had a wonderful show uh, prepared for you. Everything was going perfect. However, we had some last minute technical difficulties. And so we're going to have to cancel our interview with Ms. Tamika Frazier Hines tonight. I am so sorry. I apologize. But guess what, you guys? The show must go on. So tonight we are going to talk about what do you do when things like this happen? What do you do when things fail? It doesn't go like you want it to go. And you feel frustrated, you feel upset, you feel like you let people down. Well, that's what we're gonna discuss tonight. I am, again, I apologize for the interview not going through, but guess what? There's always a plan B, and we're going to reschedule. Um, in my career, I have experienced so many no's. I can't begin to tell you, it seems like every time I apply for a certain job, I get the answer, no. Or when I wanted to do a project, or when I went after uh, you know, a certain venture, it seems like the answer was always no. And I used to ask myself, okay, what am I doing wrong? Why is everybody else you know, doing and getting what they want? And it just seems like everything was stopping for me. Well, let me tell you something. There's a time and a season for everything. And what you must understand is just because you're looking at someone else doesn't mean that what they're doing is what you're supposed to be doing at that particular time. You got to stop focusing on everybody else. And number one, you've got to focus on yourself. You got to focus on what God has for you. So I don't want to uh, put my faith values and impose my faith and my worldviews on you, but I do have to tell my testimony and I do have to tell you what God did for me in the waiting. You know, I can remember growing up wanting to do certain things, and it was so funny because in my eyes, I saw myself as ugly. I saw myself as, you know, I couldn't do this or that. And I always looked at myself as I was like I was second best. And to be honest with you, when I looked at my brothers and sisters and their friends, they were so much smarter than me. To me, they were better than me, better skilled than I was. They had the best friends. They 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 seemed like they got what they wanted, and that just was not Deshaun. <laughs> so in the meantime, with all this going on and I'm looking at everybody else, you know, one day I, I decided to, you know, say, you know, I, I, I think I can do this. I don't really believe it, but I think I can. So I'll never forget, look, we are getting <laughs> voice messages. I know they're wondering, like, Deshaun, what are you doing? So back to the story. And so I, I never forget, um, I decided to you know, launch out on the deep and see if I can really do this. And I used to want to model. Now, I never thought that I was beautiful or anything, but I did want to model. I loved Iman. That was one of my uh, 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 what's your, heroes. And so I wanted to be like her. So I, I used to sneak in my mom's makeup. My mom is like uh, 10 shades lighter than me. And I used to put on her makeup and I used to, you know, uh, put towels on my head to make my hair look longer or whatever. I know that's weird, but I did that. And so I would do that and I would, you know, do commercials in front of my grandmother or when my mother was up late at night, I would be peddling around in the medicine cabinet doing commercials in the privacy of my own bedroom and in front of my mother. I wouldn't do it with anybody else. I would not perform and, uh, you know, do the commercials because I was shy. But I knew in my heart that's what I wanted to do. So I'll never forget when I was in uh, high school, I went to the post office. And my mom, you know how your mom sends you to do crazy stuff and air and errands and all that good stuff. So I went to the post office and there was this young man there and he was looking at me and I'm like, why is this man looking at me? Is he crazy? I did think that. And that leads me to one of my biggest points. Never judge anybody of how they're looking at you or how they look because 
that person could actually be your blessing. And this person was my blessing. And his name was Mr. Hugh Hardy. And he talked to me about a new magazine going on in Birmingham, Alabama called Weddings. And he said, you know what, you feel like you could be one of the models. And so my very first modeling job was for a magazine by the name of Weddings in Birmingham, Alabama. And I'm like, wow, I actually did this. Even though I don't think I'm, you know, I'm all that and I'm all beautiful. But, you know, it started happening. But even when I was modeling, I wanted to do the right thing. I saw the celebrity scene, and I'm like, that's not me. I just want to do my thing. I don't have to party. I'm not trying to do the, you know, the other craziness. I just want to, to do me. And um, I'll never forget, I prayed. I said, God, you know, I do love modeling, but I'm not trying to show my body. I'm not trying to do all that because I really loved God. I really wanted to please him more than I wanted to please myself and have my own whatever. So I'll never forget when I made that vow, it seems like God began to open up doors for me. And I'll never forget I had another engagement, and I had to wear these tight pants and this tight outfit. I'm like, oh, my goodness, this is not me. But, again, I wanted to model, okay? And so I had to actually um, be the MC for this particular modeling event. And so uh, I did the event, and it was so amazing because God knows when your heart is right, he'll make a way out of no way. Even when you want to do things that seems like, you know, it's not the norm or maybe what typical um, people of faith would not do, he'll always make a way of escape. And I'll never forget, I was sitting there, and I was, you know, um, modeling the outfit as well as, um, you know, talking about what the other models had on. And the camera went like this, and it stopped, like, right there. I'm like, oh, thank you, God, because these pants are really tight, and they're showing my little booty. So, anyway, <laughs> it's like God always made a way for me in whatever I wanted to do. Now, moving forward with this story, I want to tell you that when you get a no, the first thing you're going to do is get on your knees and talk to God. You're going to let him know, you know what, God, I'm really tired of all these no's. I am very discouraged. I don't feel like I can make it. I don't feel like I can do it. I don't even feel like I have the skills, but I want to do this. Talk to God just like I'm talking to you. Because let me tell you something. God already knows the plans he has for you even before you thought about it. And trust me. God has given you everything you need to fulfill your destiny and purpose. Down from the, the, the color of your skin and to your, even your characteristics and your personality. He designed you for that thing that he put in you that you know is in you that needs to come out, that gift, those talents. And I will say to anyone, first you gonna, you got to pray. you got to seek God. Because if you seek him first and his righteousness, everything else will be added unto you. So stop trying to get the money and the fame and stop trying to do it yourself. You've got to give it to God because when you give it to God, he has the perfect timing. He has the perfect season and all that good stuff. So make a very long story short. I love radio. I love media. I love fashion. I love entertainment. And I've been able to do all of those things and greater and more is coming because I believe that I put my plan in God's hand instead of putting it into Sean's hand. Now, has everything been perfect? No. Have I done everything perfect? No, I haven't. Sometimes I got into my own self and I forgot, you know, hey, I need to, I think I need to include God in this. I think I need to include him because you know what? He's the one that gave it to me anyways. And I don't care what it looks like, even for those who are unbelievers and they seem like they're, you know, getting more or doing more. Trust me, God has a plan for you. And so I will say to you tonight, even through this Google Hangout that didn't go the way I planned it, guess what? I'm not going to complain. There's a plan B, and I believe it's going to be greater than ever. I just want to encourage you to not stop. Don't quit. I don't care how many no's are thrown up in your face. I don't care who doesn't like you. I don't care who doesn't understand you. All the misunderstandings, all of that is still making you. The crazy things that go on in your, our lives, it actually strengthens us, and it makes us. It makes us better. Um, even when we are not as disciplined as we need to be, it teaches us, you know what? I got to plan better. I've got to get on my game and be better. So tonight, I just want to encourage you that even through this crazy Google Hangout that didn't come out like I wanted it to come out, I still believe that all things work together 
to them that love God and that are called according to his purpose. So don't go anywhere. I want you to stay with me on this journey. Yeah, it might be a little crazy, but guess what? It's working for our good. It is working for my good. It's working for your good. So stay with me. I'm Deshaun Moore, publisher of MGM Magazine and host of More with Miss Deshaun on the best radio station this side of heaven, WQSW 100.5 FM. And we're actually in the studio of WQSW 100.5 FM. So glad for Dr. Deborah Godwin-Starks, the founder and CEO of this wonderful uh, radio and internet radio station. And you can catch us 24-7 streaming live at www.stellarwomen.com and also if you're here local in Fort Wayne, Indiana, it is 100.5 FM. So we're glad for all of the people that make it possible for people like myself to make our dreams come true and do what we need to do, do what we're called to do. So thank you so much. Please stay tuned because we're going to continue to do more Google Hangouts. Yes, they're going to be great. And Ms. Tamika Frazier Hines will join us in another Google Hangout very soon. I want to tell you I love you. Please don't give up on your dreams. Don't give up on me because I'm not going anywhere. You'll see. <laughs> so have a great evening, and I hope to see you on the next Google Hangout. Take care. Bye-bye.